Alright, welcome back to another video. Today is the day of the tractor pulls. It's It's been about a month. I mean, we have wheat ready to harvest on our field down here. We have a whole barley field ready to harvest. We'll do that in a later episode. It'll probably be in the middle of the month when we do that. Got all the 3500s. We have a problem because we have a bunch of new trucks just sitting here. And then you got the rodeo looking all pretty. Got them all cleaned up and all. This truck's still sitting here. We don't know what we're doing with it yet. Might take it down to the farm. But today's the tractor pulls, and those start actually, they actually start around in the afternoon. So we can't really cut grass this year. For some reason, our grass is shorter. So, probably going to turn this into some kind of pasture land for eventually. <clears throat> we're probably, we're actually thinking of moving the cow pasture from where they are now into actually putting them in this giant area just because this. This grass isn't really growing as high as we can, or as high as we would like it to cut hay. And they have a really small pasture. So it would probably be better for them to have something nicer and way bigger, something like this. So we might put a barn down there along the tree line and just make a huge fence row, you know? We'll get we'll get a nice area, so... But yeah, that, that's that's plans. That, that's what we want to do. We're probably not going to cut hay off this. We don't want to plow it up because... It's not really that great of land. I mean, the, the, the yield that we get from it already isn't that great. That's why we only plowed a small field, just to get some some wheat. It's not a whole bunch, but just a little bit. So, but we're going to go ahead and connect this up, because we're actually going to... I think we have a limit of two tractors. And what I wanted to do, I wanted to not take the Alice or the 86. I was thinking more of bringing the 460 or the H. Why? Why not? <laughs> I mean, we might as well test... I mean, I know they don't make a lot of power, but it's worth just to see what kind of power they could make. I mean, they, they're not really... Like, they're pretty... The H is pretty built, I would say. I mean, it, it's got power. It's It's got enough power. It can haul a big enough plow. It can haul a big enough cultivator. So we're thinking of... Uh, doing that so which there they are actually so yeah so we're probably going to do that but we need to feed the cows first and also drift my 3500 while we're at it so we're going to go ahead and feed the cows i'll see you guys in a few minutes all right so i think we're ready to go now we got the 460 and the h loaded on up and report time is about 12 30 so we'll be there just a little early and I think pools start at 1, so we'll be ready to do that. So let's get on going. So I think when they do classification, this is more of a small to medium range. This isn't really for heavy tractors, big tractors, like the Alice. So this is more of a small to medium. That's why I'm bringing the H and the 460. Plus, I just, I just want to see its performance, you know? See how much power is really under there. Now I know they estimate about 25, 20 on the H and about, I think it was 60 on the 460. So, yeah. So we'll, we'll figure that one out there, but, you know. But, yeah. I mean, this truck right here, I mean, you can tell it's a pretty decent pulling truck. Just by driving normally. So, um, just get on up the hill here. Get it going. Perfect. I don't know if Patrick's here already. I know he's putting, I think it was his 1086 in. That might have been all he's doing. If he, if he does the M, well, then there we go. He has the M. <laughs> so, I don't know what he's bringing or what, so. I think the turn is in here somewhere. It's really tricky how they made this, because it's a really steep embankment, especially for huge trailers like this. Oh, there's this tractor. I think you can bring him in early, and that'll keep him safe for you. So, yep. Okay. Oh, boy. All right. Okay, who is that? Okay, that should be good. Oh, that's Patrick. <laughs> Where'd you pick this whip up? 
Well, uh, I'm going through town, you know, looking at the newspaper, and boom, about 1500 bucks. Jeez. Oh, you hit the uh, deal then. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, it's a little rough, but it's the right? Transmission went on the other one. So, love it, love it. <laughs> You know, I brought the old tire stabber with me. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, so. Do you unfold the ramps out of the way? That'll be fine. <laughs> ah, <stupid>. <laughs> I'm just better. Uh, you, you wonder if, uh, what's his face is going to bring that, uh, that. 4755 turbo custom with the hood stack, that short one. Yeah, I don't know. He might show up a little later. I don't know. I'm kind of hoping he does because I would love to see that thing pull. Uh, yeah. It was. Go through the whole thing. It was boom, done. Yeah. The blank would be over. Alright, how close am I to the edge here? You ready for this drop? Oh boy. Boom. Here we go. Oh boy. Boom. Whoa. There's oil all over the engine now. Oh, we're ready. <laughs> um, I think they want small to medium, because that's what we're doing, so. All right. Well, I guess at 1230, we have our, you know, our meeting for things, you know. They always do the meeting. So. Yeah. I'm curious how the old H is going to do. <laughs> I think it'll do well. The 460, yeah, we'll find out. Your 1086, that's on the medium class, so I'm sure it'll do pretty decent. Yeah. So. Which only seems to be me so far, but we're here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, do people still. I think the deadline you have to be here is 1230. Yeah, and then we have our meeting at 1245, so I guess we'll yeah. just sit and wait, you know? <laughs> it's a lot cooler and cheap here, so. Yeah, this this is pretty nice. Let's see it. Ooh, yeah, classy. I like it. Fifteen hundred bucks for this. Oh, they, oh no, it is a four seater. It just has two doors. Nice. Yeah. Has back seats and all. Wow, that's really nice. I've never seen this thing driving around town. Yeah, I mean, pop the hood. You can look her up. See what's going on. Yeah, let's see it. Ooh. Oh yeah. Looks to be what. Straight six. Straight six. V6 in it, nice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> I guess we'll have to fool around with it while we uh, <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I guess we'll just wait for people to show up. You know. Yes, <laughs> Yeah, slide bar cooler, right? Yeah. Got a few late newcomers, so we're not going to be starting till about one thirty. But we have my H and 416 Patrick's 1086. But we have this little Volvo Crabbit, Crabbit, or I guess technically it's a bowl of yeah that you know. <laughs> then we have a John Deere 7810. We got the 4755 custom. And he made it. <laughs> got an anteater, an international two plus two 3788, and a 4440. Not a huge selection, but enough. So I guess I'll see you guys in the. The pool over here, so when we get the Volvo tractor up, and then I'll be your next because it's going from that end to that end, so they're all in order. So, not too many, but just enough. So, yeah, I'll see you guys when the first pool begins. We got the first tractor here, he's getting ready. I think he's gonna go right now. Well, tractor's got some pool in it, and that, uh, oh. It didn't really make it far, did it? <laughs> no surprise there, I guess. <laughs> little, little tractor didn't do too bad, I guess, but... Yeah. They even lessen the amount of weights they put in these things, because these things... Whew, yeah, it's... Pretty bad, actually. When you think about it, it's, it's pretty terrible. Sometimes. So... But, oh, it's my turn, so we'll go ahead and get the, uh, get the H, because it's my turn to do this. So, let's see how terrible this little tractor does. 
I'm hoping it does pretty decent. I mean, I'm hoping it does. So, I guess I'll get hooked up and wait for the pooler guy since I'm kind of the pooler guy whenever I'm the not pulling. So, all right, we're just pull her forward here. Perfect. All right. Go ahead and cool. All right. Guess we're ready now. So I just gotta wait. So let's wait a second here. Ready now? I guess we're going. All right. Come on. She's going as quick as she can. Oh yeah. We'll pop a wheelie. Come on. Oh yeah. Come on. I know she's got it in her. There's a lot in it actually. Oh yeah, come on. Come on. We're making pretty decent progress. Come on. I mean we've got a whole track ahead of us, but you know. Alright. Yeah, I think that's as far as she's gonna let me go. Alright. That was a pretty good pull. I mean, for an H, that's pretty decent, all right? Now it needs to shift. It's not shifting. Why am I manual? The 460 to pull now, and then Patrick goes, and then a bunch of other dudes go. What is going on with my tractor here? I can't get into reverse. That's not good. I hope it didn't blow it. Like, blow it up. That would not be good. I need reverse. This tractor is in gear, so I need to put it in a different gear. All right, let's see how well this tractor does, because I'm I'm genuinely curious to see how well it does. Like this is a pretty decent tractor, so I'm I'm thinking it'll do pretty decent. So, so let's let's just find out. Hopefully, it does the best here, because it is the best tractor. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's not really the best. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get hooked up here. And uh, we're going to get started here in a minute. Get this pool going. Come on, old girl. Give her the beans. <laughs> Give her the beans. She's staying tight, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, she's got it. She definitely has it. Oh, come on. Keep going. We got to at least do better than the H now. Which I think we definitely already did easily. I think we picked a good gear in a third. Oh, I think that's where she's going to stop. All right, not a bad pull whatsoever. That was really good. I'll give it that one. That was a good pull. All right, so now we got to go put this back, but I'll see you guys when we're, uh, you know, back in the, uh, back in the, I don't know. Just back in the pool and sled than the Patrick pool. So, hopefully, uh, I think it's 1086 will do just fine. I really do. So, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. So, he's going. He's... He ain't giving me time to get ready. <laughs> oh, yeah, that thing's pushing. My gosh, he's going. Jeez. He's not stopping. Oh, no, that made him stop. Whatever that was. <laughs> it must have been that. The dang governor and the thing kicking in or whatever. I don't know. It's hard to tell if these things are, like, interesting, needless to say. So... Anyway, let's get this thing put up here, and yeah. This is the turbo tractor, so, uh, uh, three, two, one, go! Oh, he's gonna take me to town, isn't he? Yep, yeah, he is. Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't know what he's got in this thing, but... Phew, heaven forbid. Phew, man. Jeez. He's gonna pull me the full length! My gosh! He has to stop at some point. Yeah, I was gonna say, he has to stop at some point. Goodness! 
My gosh, that tractor's like powerful. Oh boy. That tractor is powerful. My goodness, what is he doing? Being dumb is what he's doing. <laughs> goodness, that tractor's so powerful. Wow. That's impressive. I don't know how you can build a tractor like that, but hey. It's pretty cool. Nonetheless. My gosh, he's, he's speeding. He's got, like, performance brakes on it, too. You already know he does. So, yeah. I'll just see you guys when the next tractor's coming. Alright. This is a big 3788 anteater. Oh, yeah, listen to that thing up there. That's what we needed more of. Big turbos and big tractors. <clears throat> Even though they kind of categorize this as a small tractor, this is a fairly big tractor, so. Right, that's about all he's pulling, so. <laughs> yeah. But anyway. Alright, there should be one more tractor. They could not get that 7810 to start up. <laughs> so, it, it's kind of just unlucky they like, not able to pull, so. Now it's just the 4040, so. Yeah, I'll see you guys. That's going to be the last pull, so I'll see you guys when that one's ready. Be here, and I guess it's his turn to go, so, uh, now! Alright. Alright, he's doing pretty decent, doing pretty decent. Ooh. Oh, he's trying to push it. Yeah, that's probably all he's getting. That was a good pull for him. I'll give him that. So. Yeah, he can just come back this way. Because we're going pull one now. <laughs> so. Yep. Turn around. Hopefully he's not coming. Because I'm backing in this way. Good. He isn't. Alright. Well, I think that's the pull in for today. Since I couldn't get that 7810. To stop. Kind of a shame. But you know what? It is what it is. So. I think we had a good turnout though. And Patrick is. But. Oh, I think right that's here. him right there. <laughs> that's some fun pulling today, I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you that in the either. Um, the H yeah, might have lost good. reverse, but I might be able to fix that real quick. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. the 4755, to be expected. Yeah. 30 yeah. Well, it was just this average owl, row crop 7810 didn't even start. <laughs> oh. I drove it here oh. and then didn't start. That's pretty it's a shame. tractor, too. Yeah. Well, sometimes the newer is not better. As no. you can see, we kind of set that example. <laughs> yeah. Well, and the 460 yeah. didn't do too bad for third gear. Yeah, not bad. So, I guess we better load up and get out of here because, you know, we got harvest now. Uh, I need to come back later, a little later, and grab the um, truck. One of them. We brought this here last night, he let us bring it because we don't really have a means to haul it all the time because, you know, we got busy stuff to do with the trailer. And since my transmission went out in my other truck... And yeah, now you got this thing. <laughs> which, I mean, not saying it's a bad thing not to dr drive it around. They're saying that, you know, this can't really tow much. We must got a drop hitch on it, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey, it'll probably get the job done when you need it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, you I bought it for pretty like cheap until you get here. enough to fix that train of yours. Uh, uh, like, I want to, you know, drive it like a beater and not really care about it, but for a couple of days I've been driving around and I really enjoy it, so I might actually not beat the crap out of it. Kind of keep it nice. Well, as nice as you can keep a beater. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this thing is also still pretty new. It's only, what, seven years old? Now seven that it's 2000? I mean, it's a 93, right? Yeah, yeah it's a 93. It's still pretty new. <laughs> yeah, it's a fairly uncommon two-door model. I mean, of course they made them because it's right here, but mainly it's even forward for so it's kind of sporty. Yeah. I mean, hey, it looks good. <laughs> oh, yeah, thank you. So, well, I guess if you're leaving, I'll see you around. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll see you around. Yep. Oh, yeah. Don't uh, die. Don't oh, I will, trust me. Everything's <laughs> I, I know... We oh, loaded no. up the Alice. 
almost get struck a few times, so. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll buff out. There was only that other time when I jackknifed and it almost died and hitting a pole. Yeah. <laughs> but it'll be fine. Well, I guess I'll uh, see you around, Patrick. <laughs> yep. See you around. Yep. But I think that's going to do it there. I mean, there's really nothing much else to do, so I'll see you all in the next one, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe, and see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.